Hello everybody and welcome back to the dolly cam. So we have something really exciting for you. All the people that like to do doll repairs or somebody that has been needing to restring their doll. We are here with a doll doctor. She is very accomplished in what she does. She does this all day every day. She does this for her business and she is also a Ruby Lane shop owner. We are here with doll doctor Sandy and I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna chat with her. Hi Sandy. Thank you for being here and, oh, and this doing wonderful. this demonstration for us. Absolutely. It's what I do. I can do this in my sleep. Yes. And for a lot of us though, we, this is a big problem. Yes. It's probably your most requested repair, isn't it? It is. Yes. I, I get these nonstop. Um, this is a Helen Kish doll that I'm restringing. It's an unusual stringing system where there are strings between the shoulder and the elbow and then the shoulder mm -hmm. and the other shoulder. Normally it's all a lot one. lot going on. So in the lower is the part that has failed, but in order to fix that, I have to clip and be careful not to break anything. This is a porcelain doll. So what I have to do is string between here and here. There's a hook that's a something that we can grab there's a a uh, probably a nail between here and here and then another one between here and here and it's strung to that so a tool is what you make of it I happen to have tools and wire normally you would have a stringing cord this time I have to make one you're improvising absolutely and I'm going to choose the type the width of the cord. Um, I think this one will probably be the most appropriate. And you for have this several doll. cords here. You I have, have, I have tool several chest. different types, different different widths. I'm going to take this up. Sometimes I have to grab it with my hook, <clears throat> shove it back down. Force that back down so that it comes out at the elbow. And sometimes they're a little fiddly. I sit there and sometimes gravity is my enemy. Sometimes it's it works just fine. And I can see it right there. Put my hook in there and try to grab it. Push it a little bit more. And now at this point I can probably reach up with my clamps. Grab this, put this through here, use the hook. You know what's kind of fun is you're stringing a Helen Kish doll and Helen Kish, Helen Kish, Helen Kish is standing, standing right, right over right there. Over here. <laughs> yes, she just attended a luncheon. So much fun. Where we had so much fun, it was a blast. That's why I'm dressed in 50s style because the oh, great. it was the the Baltimore. It was a dance party, 50s themed luncheon. So so I dressed in a poodle skirt. Love it. Okay, like I said, gravity is not always my friend. Sometimes I have to sit there and fiddle with it until I can finally get it to go where I want. And we're just about there. Oh dear. Yep, and this is what happens, and, and it happens a lot. And sometimes it's it's just super simple, and sometimes you have to kind of work with it a little bit. But that's very, very, very typical of, very, of doll repair. Right. There are times when things go together so well, and I just think, oh, piece of cake. It'll take me just a moment. And that doesn't always happen. Yeah, it's just wanting to be fiddly. So I'm going to try to go at it in a different direction and see if I can make it happen that way. It's important for people to see, though, because a lot of times we just see it look so easy. And sometimes you kind of have to work with it a little bit. This is Doll Dr. Sandy, and she is giving us a tutorial demonstration on restringing. And right now she is working on a Helen Kish doll. That should be easier than it, it is going. 
So I'm going to try to <laughs> make a different shaped tool at the end of this piece of wire that I'm using to try to capture that piece. I just need to be able to get that wrapped around that little nail. So there's holds. a nail in there that it's, that it's needing to be wrapped around, which is exactly. what you're struggling with. Right. And I've almost Again, got this it. is very typical. This is something that happens a lot. Yeah. So we finally got it around. Now I've got to pull it through and then tie it off. And because this is porcelain, I have to be very careful. So I often will lay it down on a soft surface or something where it won't get broken, it won't fall off the table. And then draw. use a nice square knot, cut off the ends, and then hide the ends up inside. Okay. And then the other arm, the same thing. The cording that was used is just, it has failed and is hanging out. Okay, let's see how this one goes. Let's see. Get the old cord out of there. Well, no, no, everything is being, we just live in a world where everything gets on this. And our kids don't want it. That other generation really didn't get hit as hard. I'm going to go up first. And down. And they've grown up with, I mean, I'm a journalist. Feed that through again. It's almost there. It just looks interesting. Reach up and grab it. Yeah. Now we can see it, so I can again use the clamps to pull it. And then see if this one is going to be as difficult as the last one or if it's going to come right out. Piece of cake. You See, never it just know. goes to show. <laughs> you never know. Okay. Tie it in a square knot. Cut off the excess. How do you hide it up in there? You just pull it so that it's okay. up there out of the way and not visible anymore. I mean, sometimes there's no way to totally hide it, but you do the best you can to, to hide it. Now I've got to put another piece of cord through that, that same piece, because now it has to go back shoulder to shoulder. So that tool that I made is going to be come in handy. Just not visible here. And you made this little tool just now out of your wire. I did. Because I don't have anything that's small enough to be able to fit in here. So I'm going to cut this off so I can send that through the body out the other side. And then again, I have to do that with this side. We are restringing an all bisque Helen Kish doll right now with doll Dr. Sandy, and she is showing us how she's doing that. Okay. Okay. 
it goes, <laughs> sometimes it's a piece of cake. And I stopped to make sure that I put the right one on the right side. People are kind of funny that way. You have no idea how many times I've put the wrong arm on the wrong side <laughs> or the wrong foot. Oh, I'm sure it's happened and then you're like... Because oh. <laughs> you're concentrating on defying gravity and getting it to work the way you want. Sometimes you don't pay attention to which piece you're holding. You can just barely see it. I'll capture it eventually. People tell me that I have the patience of a saint sometimes when they watch well, and me do does. this. It does. It takes time and patience. And even though sometimes they're harder than others, it's, it's not easy to do. Even no. when it looks easy. No, it is not. So sometimes you have to keep trying. And the, the space that I'm dealing with here seems to be a little smaller than it was on the other side. So... the shape of this again so you're changing the shape of your tool just so that it is more likely to grab it and capture it and that worked okay okay so bring this one through so you've got both arms on there now you're bringing them through and making sure that everything's tight in all directions Sometimes it's best to pull it tight, clamp it, pull the other one, clamp it, pull the first one just to make sure that there's no more play in it. See how much came out after that. because the distance between the two shoulders is not very great. Sometimes it's difficult to get it to tighten as well as you want it to. But remove all your clamps. Finish your knot. Trim off the excess. And then hope that you didn't capture some of the fabric in there. As I did, <laughs> pull that out, get that all up in there, and she's ready to be redressed. See? Woo! <laughs> now that was a labor of love, but so worth it. Now she looks so yes, good. She looks. So she's all tight, tightly jointed. Now she can be posed again. Yes. Not an easy one. Not an easy one. No, I, so I knew it was going to be a struggle with that one, and it certainly well, was. Well, thank you for showing us. And it sure. was It's good for people to see, you know, somebody that has been doing this for many, many, many years still have um, a problem because, oh, absolutely. because you figured out a solution, and then you kept going, and you figured it out. Right. And like I said, if I didn't have my wire, if I wasn't able to make tools on the fly, I would be, I'd be lost. Right, so you did a great job. And so we're actually gonna get off of this one and then we're gonna come back on another video because doll Dr. Sandy is gonna show us how to restring an antique composition doll. But this was a modern all bisque by Helen, Helen Fish. Fish. Well, she there. looks so cute, Absolutely. ready to rumble. Ready Thanks for to tuning rumble. in everybody.